A gruesome random assault in Baltimore County. Two people are attacked with a hatchet in Middle River. Police shot the suspect who is expected to survive. And WJZ is live in Middle River right now. Tracy Leong with new information about the suspect and the investigation. Tracy. That's right, Mary. It all ended right here at the suspect's house, which is less than a mile away from where the assault happened. At this time, there is no clear motive, and the victims tell police they have no idea who the suspect is or why he chose to attack them. So two people were injured with a hammer. The suspect left the scene. Police radio calls capturing the grisly details of a brutal random attack. I saw the blood all over them. Yes, they was both of them had blood. This witness did not want to be identified, telling WJZ she saw the victims run in front of her yard, yelling for help. It was coming like they was really fr frightened. White female victim and a black male victim. Uh, they're not violating. It was an axe, not a hammer. Investigators confirmed the weapon was a hatchet. The suspect attacking the victims at a home on Wampler Road before running off with the woman's purse. Somebody back there, you know, attacked them. He said, we don't know who even who he, he was. Police were able to track the suspect down. He was hiding inside his basement on Grove Thorn Road. Um, I am going to need a couple more units down here. The suspect was found holding a large knife that police say he used to slice his own neck. The officer, fearing for her life, shot him in the torso. It's unclear where the suspect got the hatchet. It was found ditched on the side of the road after the attack, a vicious crime that has neighbors on edge. You know, 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock, that's pretty bad. We could remove the lawn, anything, you know, and, and got attacked. But. The suspect is listed in critical but stable condition at shock trauma. At this time, police are not releasing his name. Reporting live in Middle River, Tracy Leong, WJZ Eyewitness News. Tracy, thank you. The officer involved is on routine administrative duty.